I am Agent Napolitano of the Transportation Security Administration. I understand you have some safety concerns about the whole body scanners in the airports. Yes, I do. I am very concerned about all the x-rays and how they will affect me. You have nothing to worry about. Those x-rays are perfectly safe. They are special safe x-rays developed just for our scanners. Wait a minute. That's bull. There are no special safe x-rays. X-rays are x-rays. Well, what I meant is that they are absolutely safe. Radiation is our friend. We have Madame Curie to thank for all the research she did on radiation. She even created special X-ray vans during World War I to help doctors locate bullets and injured soldiers. We are using the same idea to screen passengers at airports. But Madame Curie died of leukemia caused by massive overexposure to radiation. When she died, she was almost blind and her fingers were burnt from radiation. We've lived happily with radiation for a long time. For years watches glowed in the dark because of the radium on the watch hands and numbers. The woman who painted those watch hands and numbers died horrible deaths from radiation. Those women even have a name, Radiation Girls. But that was back in the 1920s. They would all be dead by now anyway. So that doesn't count. You are forgetting the shoe-fitting machines called fluoroscopes in shoe stores in the 1930s and 40s. You would put your feet into an opening at the bottom. Then the shoe salesman would look through a viewing port on the top and see a fluorescent image of the foot bones and the outlines of the shoes. If only we'd used that on Richard Reed the shoe bomber. What a bright idea. But trust me. If the government says something is safe, then it is safe. And we say the body scanners are safe. In the 1940s and 50s the United States conducted many atomic bomb tests. Sometimes our soldiers were deliberately exposed to the radiation. And some of them died. Well, sometimes you have to break some eggs to make an omelet. In 1955, they made a movie called The Conqueror in Utah. Two years earlier, there had been atomic bomb tests nearby. Of the 220 people who worked on The Conqueror, 91 contracted cancer. 46 died from it. The dead include John Wayne, Susan Hayward, Agnes Moorhead, and Dick Powell. I like chick flicks myself. The only John Wayne movie I liked was The High and the Mighty. He plays an airline pilot landing a plane. Just right for airport screening. You're missing my point. Radiation is dangerous. Doctors say there is no safe dose. And would you believe doctors over a bunch of government bureaucrats? And if you don't like it, we will be glad to have a TSA inspector do a full body search on you. I'll tell you, those rubber gloves they wear sure come in handy when they stick them down the front of your pants. Unless you're allergic to latex, or you don't like being groped. Well, then you can opt into our full body scans, with our government guaranteed safe x-rays. And if you begin to glow in the dark, consider the environmental benefits. What are the environmental benefits to glowing in the dark? Then you won't need to use a nightlight at home. And think of all the energy that will save. You'll be doing your patriotic duty and going green. Or turning green. God bless America.